so excited to be here with another installation of my makeup collection by brand and I cannot stop smiling because the brand we're doing today is Too Faced. And I would tell you anytime that Too Faced is such a beautiful um, line of makeup, but sitting here looking at my collection laid out in front of me, it is definitely the most beautifully packaged makeup as well. And I really think there's something about um, whimsical about that company. I know, you know, they, they constantly push that tagline, own your pretty. And there is just, you know, there's just something so gorgeous about sitting at your vanity and opening up a, a palette that looks like this that on a rainy day uh, just makes you feel gorgeous. So anyway, I'm not going to wax on because I have quite a bit of Too Faced, I must say. So I'm going to start on the right hand with the products I have here. This is Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pure Oil-Free Skin Smoothing Face Primer. And that is a lovely face primer. It has um, kind of that silicone -y feel like the Smashbox ones. And it does a great job at filling in your pores. I love that primer. It came out with one with a tint. So this is the Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer with a tint. Um, and this is in a small sample size. I like it, not as much as the original, but I still do like it. And what's great about it is that you can wear it um, on days when you're not gonna wear any makeup at all. And it just really gives you that smooth, silky uh, feeling on the skin. Now at the very beginning of the craze when BB creams came here from uh, Asia, you know, everybody came up with a BB and that went on to CC, E, E, D, 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 G, whatever. I feel like I'm in the sound of music all of a sudden. But what I thought was interesting is Too Faced came out with their BB at the very beginning of that called the Beauty Bomb. Uh, I believe these were like 50 bucks a tube. I got them in two colors in Vanilla Glow and Cream Glow. These were my favorite BBs on the market. And I did not see a lot of YouTube talk about them. I'm not even sure if uh, Too Faced still sells this product, but these were an amazing BB. And in fact, now that I'm digging them out, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to keep these out for summer. Uh, I just don't know why YouTube didn't really kind of catch on with them because I thought they were the nicest because they had... Uh, they have quite a bit more coverage, I found, than a lot of the BBs. Now, the only uh, other foundation type product I have is this kind of strange beast. It's called the Too Faced Air Buffed BB Cream. And I got it in Cream Glow. So the package comes with its own little um, brush here right on the top that you can use. And when you open it up, it's a BB cream, but in a cream formula. So you can just buff that right onto the face. And it's an okay product. I wasn't crazy, crazy about it, which is why you can see there I haven't used a lot of it, but it, it was okay. Now these two cute little palettes, they actually came uh, at Christmas, two years in a row, and they came inside, or it might've been right before, right after Christmas, they came inside of a, a cell phone cover. So these, both of these, uh, one's called Jingle All The Way, and the other one's called Candy Bar, which hello. Um, and they both came with four, no, sorry, 5S iPhone covers, both of which I have and I use on my phone all the time. The candy bar one, it, the, it looks just like a, a chocolate bar on the back. And the Jingle All The Way one is their standard pink and gold chevron print. So both of those I really, really love. And then the palettes that came in are really cute. There's eyeshadows, a bronzer, and a blush in there and it's like nine eyeshadows, so cute little things for when you travel. This is one of the Too Faced eyebrow products I have. This is called Bulletproof Brows. And when you open this up, there's like a special little thing here to keep it, keep it from the air, from drying it out. When you crack that open, it's a sort of a colored wax. It's a nice product. Nothing special, but very nice. Then they came out with these three blushes and I had to get them all there, the heart-shaped blushes. These are called, they call called the Sweethearts Perfect Flush. This is uh, something about berry, so pretty. And what I love about these is on days, like um, as you can see, I get a little highlighter crazy. Uh, I just love that glowy look. 
And these blushes, uh, you can really kind of rock them high on the cheek and not have to wear a highlighter. They'll give you quite a bit of glow. So that is the Something About Berry, which is deep, just what it is, deep berry. This one is called Peach Beach. And again, a lovely collection of kind of corally peaches. And this one is Candy Glow, which anything that has the word candy in it, I gotta have it. And that one's pretty. I find that's kind of, it's kind of some coral and some pink. And there's a kind of a nice amount of shimmer in there as well. Now I've got a whole bunch of these rounds and some of them I bought separately and some of them came in kits. So I'm just going to start at one end and go. Uh, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, very famous, but this one is in the milk chocolate. So it's a bit lighter. Oh, oh I probably got some on my nose there with that lovely chocolate smell. I'm actually using one of these right now, but like a smaller size. I didn't bring any of my minis though. I have a lot of Too Faced minis. Uh, so that's the milk chocolate. This is older packaging, but this is again, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, but this is in the original chocolate. So it's darker. I'll put them side by side so you can see. You see how that's much darker. The milk chocolate has a, has a much lighter hue to it. Oh, both of them smell delicious. I love, I had it in small and used it all up. It's the Too Faced Pink Leopard Brightening Bronzer. And it's really, really gorgeous. It's got that pink and bronze leopard pattern inside. And I find you can use this as a bronzer to kind of warm your whole face up. Or you can use it as a blush in the same way that you would use, um, what's the one from Benefit? Savannah? Uh, it, it just, it gives that nice, because those pops of pink and it's very glowy, just really nice. Obviously you wouldn't contour with that, um, like you would the Chocolate Soleil's, because they're so nice in that, but that is a gorgeous product. You might look at it and go, well, what would I use it for? But I'm telling you, you'll use it for a lot. It's really nice. These that came in the kits, they, most of them just say, like this says Too Faced um, Eyeshadow Collection, and the colors that came in this one are Exclusive Lavender, Satin Sheets, Ever After, and Birthday Suit. And so when you open it up, that it's just a really nice sized quad with those gorgeous colors, all of which are very shimmery. And all of these compacts have great mirrors in them. I just won't show them to you because I don't want to blind you. Again, this is, uh, this is called just Too Faced. And on one side, it's Chocolate Soleil Bronzing Powder. And on the other side, it's Pinch My Petals Blush. And again, just a lovely product. This is a wonderful highlighter. This is the Too Faced Absolutely Invisible Candlelight Softly Illuminating Translucent Powder. So they sell it as like a translucent powder, which... As you can see, it it is, but it's got a really, uh, oh my God, it's so powdery soft. It's got a really illuminating effect. And I feel like when Hourglass came up with those illuminating powders, everyone was going crazy. And I was like, mm -hmm. y'all weren't the first bat with that because Too Faced has had this product out for a long time. I do use this usually as a highlighter, but sometimes I will just, particularly if I'm like going out to dinner and it's going to be a, like a candlelit kind of restaurant, I will use it on my entire face. These were gorgeous. These came in kits. I even had a makeup bag with this pattern on it. I think I still have it. I used it for years. It's got the swan with, uh, you know, it's a blue swan with a hot air balloon that's got flowers all coming out of it. It's drop dead gorgeous. Uh, again, it's just on one side, Sun Bunny bronzing powder. On the other side, who's your poppy blush? Another one in that beautiful motif, except this one has the beautiful girl sitting on the pink swan. And it's Too Faced Eyeshadow Collection. On this one, it's Teddy Bear, Blonde Ambition, Totally Toasted, and Satin Sheets. So some of the colors repeat on these, but I just had to have them all. And they are really nice palettes and like big pans of shadow in there. This one came out at the holidays one year, so the, the, the design is a little more simple. It's just pink with the confetti on it. It's called Too Faced All I Want for Christmas, Eyeshadow and Blush. And when you open it, it's kind of a, a muted corally blush with uh, two eyeshadows, one beige and one brownie. Uh, if that noise is bothering you, it's, just, it's our candle. We have a candle that's a wood wick and it sounds like wood burning. It probably sounds weird in here. Now these also, these next two things were in one of those like, like little, you know, combo kits. Um, but I, things I really loved, this is called the Too Faced Natural Kiss. And you can see that's really old packaging. 
you open it up it's a gorgeous mirror with a little lip liner and four really nice cream lip colors going from gold into like deep berries and I've used this uh, quite a bit I believe I got this as a 500 point perk at one point is the Too Faced the naked look this was just at the front end of when they were going to start bringing out all these things so they give us a little taste with this little kit it's got like the guide to how to use it and then inside you've got two lip colors um, a highlighter called shimmering veil and then two really shimmery shadows and this is actually a nice little thing to just uh, pop in your purse because you know sometimes you end up spending the night when you don't plan to and you can give yourself a decent little look with this little 500 point perk so I've often used it and enjoyed it. Now we're getting into the bigger palettes. This was probably one of the most used for me because I have such a big collection I don't tend to use um, a palette a lot a lot a lot of times but this one I used a lot. This is when uh, Sephora and Too Faced kind of both turned 15 together so it is the, the Too Faced Sephora celebrating 15 years of beauty together. So it's got the Too Faced you know, design in here and then the Sephora design along the outside. And it's one of the metal tins. When you open it up, I'll take this out. Um, I forget what was in here. There was something in here. There's a brush there, so I don't know what it was. It might have been an eyeshadow insurance in here actually. But you've got uh, two different bronzers and a blush and then these gorgeous array of shadows at the top. And as you can see, you've got two kind of neutral large shadows here. And then all the rest of the shadows are really bright, really beautiful colors. And you can tell by looking at that 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 thing has been well loved. I use that a lot. It's got the Sun Bunny bronzer and the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Such a nice palette. This palette is gorgeous and I should use it more. Now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, oh, I gotta bring it out in my pack. I love the packaging. So rock and roll. And it's called the Too Faced Pretty Rebel Palette. Big mirror inside. And then some really, really gorgeous colors. This uh, totally fetched, this hot pink. Ugh, love it. And you can't see it in the um, camera, but this black right here is called Miss Sparkles and it is sparkly sparkly like you do a really heavy smoky eye with that black and it's just like the lights just like bing, 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 bing. such an awesome palette I think this one is still available this did not catch on the way I thought it would on YouTube it's the uh, the return of sexy palette and it's basically an eyeshadow palette that they've broken up into like it's basically three collections there that they put in one uh, one case with a big mirror and right here are your little cue cards that can tell you how to get the looks as i'm looking at that what is what a sin i have not put a brush in that yet that is not used that's about a year and a half old look how gorgeous those cut that might even be two years old but look how gorgeous those colors are i gotta get you know i gotta get using those that's one of the things i'm loving about doing this showing you my collection this way is i'm seeing products that i haven't used yet and i'm bringing them to the top my face today i did with um a Tarte um, palette that I hadn't used from when I did that collection. So just really, really pretty. This came out last summer. I really, really loved it. The, the Bonjour Soleil, Hello Sun. Wonderful metal packaging. And inside it had this really cool brush and then three of their bronzers. The Chocolate Soleil, the Sun Bunny, and then the Snow Bunny. And I tend to use the Snow Bunny. I have this in a few different versions. I tend to use that as both highlighter and eyeshadow. Uh, that's the way I use it. I will sometimes use it as a bit of a blush, but mostly highlighter and eyeshadow. And you'll see that there is a shadow palette that matches this once I get to those. Now everybody knows these, everybody has these, of course. I won't spend a lot of time on them. The chocolate bar palette. That's the original chocolate bar palette with the little laminate thing to tell you what the names are. And then they got smart with the semi-sweet and they put the names right on the packaging and again I'm not going to talk about those a lot because those are so hot right now and everybody's sort of seen them. I just moved up a bit because I'm I'm moving down the table. Uh, this was from the Christmas collection I think two years ago. It came in this beautiful pink tin. As you open up the tin and again I'm looking at this 
haven't used these yet. My brush has not touched these. So when you open up the tin, there's this wonderful collection of 16 shadows. And you know, they're never scared of color. That's what I love about Too Faced. They, you know, they give us color. And then you can pull that out. And when you pull that out underneath, you have this uh, situation here where you've got a candlelight glow highlighter. You've got Sun Bunny Light and Exclusive Bronzer, um, La Vie en Rose and Papa Don't Preach Blushes. In here you have the little cue cards of how to use them. There was a shadow insurance, a full size shadow insurance in here. I took it out and there was also an eyeliner in here which I took out to use. But that, is a, that was a really, really lovely Christmas collection and when you're done using the makeup you have this little commemorative tin which is pretty cool. Also from Christmas two years ago was this palette which is Joy to the Girls. I love this turquoise and gold with the dots. It, it uh, reminds me of Kate Spade a lot and this just opens like a book and when you open it it's got the three different looks that they're giving you and then this lovely collection of 15 eyeshadows in wonderful colors. There was a Lashgasm mascara in the bottom, but I've used that already and it's moved on. And I have used this palette quite a bit. This gold right here, Christmas season, you gotta just live in that. It's so amazing. Also from Christmas two years ago was this beautiful palette. This is when we really started to see the pink and gold chevron coming out in all the Too Faced. It's the favorite things, a few of my favorite things palette. <clears throat> Beautiful and sleek. And when you open it up, this huge array of shadows, well used. You can see I've really used this a lot. Um, and down below, raindrops on roses uh, blush, melt into spring blush, sun bunny bronzer, chocolate soleil bronzer. Just a really lovely collection that look how small to take with you. And all of those were beautiful. But about three or four Christmases ago, that to me is when Too Faced hit its prom dream, glitter, glamour puss, all time high with its palettes. These palettes I actually had on display in my makeup room forever. I'm gonna start with the smallest one. I mean, I could just sit and look at that. It's, you know, the lovely little prom girl. Unfortunately, the girls are always white. I wish they would uh, put a little bit of racial diversity uh, into the imagery, uh, but she's in a beautiful kind of like smoky, dusty pink uh, dress. There's all the roses all around it, the cake, the cherubs, the chandeliers, the pink balloons. Love, sweet love is what it says. And on the back, it says, it's simply a delicious connection between a girl and her love for only through her ability to express her most feminine self can she truly indulge in the sweetness of love. And that's a, a, a quote. Anyway, you open it up. It's like a little book. There's beautiful imagery here in the mirror. A little bit more story for you to read. And then when you open that page, there's a plastic page and behind it is the actual product. And it's just a cute little collection of six shadows, two lip products, cream lip products, and uh, two blushes. But just so prettily packaged, you know, like gorgeous. And then this, I mean this, look at this. This is when I fell in love with Too Faced. The, she's in a gilded cage and it's actual glitter that is stuck to the palette. Uh, the pink Christmas trees with the glitter, the pink birds with the glitter, like, oh, so ornate. Even the back is just gorgeous. And this one is super thin. And then there's just a little tab here and you open it. And when you open it, you get the guide to how to use the things. And then there's like three collections basically of Three shadows, a blush, and a lip product going all the way across. Oh my god, but look at how beautiful that is. Like, I just want to live in this. And this is the last one from that really ornate collection. And my favorite it was called Sweet Dreams. All this, you know, ornate. Again, you probably can't tell, but there's all glitter in these beautiful multicolored 
flowers and she's sitting on a big pink swan going up in the helium balloon. This one's fairly thick compared to the last one and um, it opens up. When it opens up you have a mirror, some great imaging there. All those gorgeous shadows and you kind of turn it this way and then pull out here and you've got the highlighter, the bronzer, two blushes and the little guides to how to use it. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I would never let go of these. Even when they go off, I won't let go of them because it's so beautiful. Now I'm going to get into the multiple small palettes that Too Faced has. And I'm going to start with this one because this is their brow palette. This is the Too Faced Brow Envy palette. And when you open it up, it has the mirror. I'm always going to cover the mirror so I don't blind you. And then this one has little tools. There's an eyebrow brush, uh, a spoolie, tweezers. One thing of wax, one thing of highlight, and then two pots of brown eye, uh, brown makeup. It's a great makeup kit. It's big, that's the only thing, right? For like to have that much space taken up just for your brows. Now I'm gonna start with the older style of cardboard um, palettes and then I'll move into the new metal ones. So this was one of my favorites from back then. This is called the Summer Eye by Too Faced. Beautiful colors. Uh, in the packaging. Some of these have been reissued in the metal and I, I as general rule, did not rebuy um, if I already had it. But really, really nice. And of course, you know the drill with these. It's got the, the little, the guides in here and then the multiple collections. Really nice colors. I love that color right there. This one is one I used a lot. It's called the Smoky Eye. I love the packaging on it. And when you open it up, that's exactly what it is. It's all different uh, versions of a smoky eye. So you can kind of have like a more brown smoky eye, a black smoky eye, and, and kind of a more purpley smoky eye. But down this side, the highlights here, these silvers, so nice. So nice. Those colors are, those silvers are just priceless. Then they came out with the natural eye, which got repackaged. Um, and I did buy it when it got repackaged, but it's very similar. That's the original. And you know, these, some of these have such lovely glitter. I will say this though, the glitter does fall out of those when you've been wearing them. Um, although I've not tried them now that they have glitter shadow insurance. So maybe I will try that together and see what happens. And where that was the natural eye, they came out with this, which I thought was a really cool idea called natural at night. And it's naturals uh, that you would wear at night that are a little bit darker, a little bit more dramatic, have more glitter in them. Really, really nice. Love that kind of banana colored highlighter. Some really, really gorgeous, gorgeous colors in there. Now this one I bought because the packaging was so pretty. It's called the Romantic Eye. And what I was surprised about, you know, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, those colors are okay. But when I wear this, I get a lot of compliments. So this was one of those ones that kind of was a surprise for me because I bought it because I collect and I wanted to have it in my collection. I thought it was beautiful in terms of the packaging, but I didn't realize how much the shadows uh, would appeal to people when I wore them. Now I believe right now they have the metal version of this reissued. This is the matte eye. And when you open it up, it's a collection of matte colors. What's nice is that they're not all neutral. There's some, uh, you know, there's a mauve and kind of a midnight blue and uh, you know, a little bit of a variety of matte colors in there. This was one of my favorite palettes they ever came out with. This is called Natural Face. And when you open it up, and I've used this a lot, you can see it's really dug into. It's this awesome collection of things to give you a no makeup makeup look. So you've got the Bronze Soleil bronzer, you've got a cream blush, uh, and also uh, a powder blush and then you've got a concealer a corrector and a highlighter and it's just incredible um, how those simple products can really give your face a lift when you want to look like you're not wearing makeup but actually be made up um, I'm surprised that didn't catch on more on YouTube as well because as you can see of all the things I've shown you so far that's the most used product now I am going to move into the metal uh, palettes and they came out with a metal one just like the one I just showed you 
called No Makeup Makeup. When you open it up, now they've changed, right? Now they're putting the mirrors in the top and you get, you get your little key to how to use it here. It's a little different from the first one. As you can see, it's a little pinkier, a little cooler. That first one was warmer, but it's the same thing. You get this, it's a bronzing veil instead of the deep bronzer. Uh, as you can see, the blushes are pink instead of corally, but again, one uh, cream blush and one powder blush. And then again with the concealer, the highlighter, and the brightener. If you can still get your hands on this, I would recommend you picking it up. Again, I find this is, uh, the colors are a little different than in that original one, but you can really, really create a really beautiful, luminous look with those. And then of course we get into the eyeshadow palettes in the metal. This one is called Naturalize with this lovely lace motif. And again, you know, I'm not going to swatch because this would be three hours long, but gorgeous gorgeous colors boudoir eyes i really love the packaging on this because it looks like a pink tufted headboard and again it's just really sexy smoky natural colors this you saw in a recent haul it's the sugar pop and look at those colors i haven't gotten to use this yet can't wait to dig into it oh i love those colors the packaging on this just like walked home to me because how could i not own this cat eyes with the lovely leopard and some really nice combination of real brights and gem tones in there. This kind of reminds me of the ones I got the compliments on. It's called Country. And, you know, it seems really kind of milk toast, but it, it makes a beautiful look on the eyes. Um, and this color right here, this pink, is really dynamic. And then that was the Bonjour Soleil from last summer. And it has some really nice summer, you know, a summer coral and like the ocean and sand colors. So really, really pretty. And the final of those palettes, this one is the Rock and Roll palette. Nice black packaging. You can see I've used it a lot. Some really great smoky dark colors in there. So I am a collector of these and I do tend to, um, if a new one comes out, I buy it just because... They're so beautiful and I really think they are a collector's item. Like this one is so cool, you know, it says I love metal and you see a little safety pin motif, so cool. So now I am gonna move on to pencils. And I don't have a lot, I have one Too Faced lip pencil and this is in the color Perfect Spice and um, it's just that, it's like a really natural lip color that you could use under any um, lipstick that you would want really and yeah I uh, pencil wise I have one liquid pencil or liquid pen called Too Faced three-way lash lining tool I never did get the the hang of this you probably won't be able to see it but there are actually three little nubs they line up they're side by side and the idea is that you, you're supposed to be able to go right in and, you know, wiggle those in right at the base of your lashes. But they're, very, they're, not, they're not stiff, so as soon as I go to touch, it, it just makes a big fat blob. So I never ever did get the hang of it, but I hold on to it hoping that someday I'm going to have a eureka moment and figure it out. And all the rest of these are all their Too Faced... Um, Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in Perfect Black. And I've got three of them in full size. And they have the Doe Foot Rubber Eye Smudger on the back. And then I have two of the small ones that came in kits. And uh, they're, you know, they're fine. They're like any, any of the uh, black waterproof liners of this nature. They work the same. Now we'll go on to a kind of newer lip products, uh, which are these Melted. Lipsticks. I have not gotten any of the metallic ones yet, but as you can see, I have one small one, a sample in Melted Fuchsia, and they are the color that you see on the tube. And then I have Melted Violet, Melted Candy, because how can I not? And another Melted Fuchsia. I did not realize I had two Melted Fuchsia. Let's see if I have used the small one. Shoot the bananas I did. Did I use the big one? Shoot the bananas I did. Can't give them away. Sorry. Uh, bummer. Anytime I find doubles like that, I like to give one away, but I've used both of these. So um, you know how these are, how they work. They've got that kind of felt tip. 
you squeeze the product up, put it on, and it's a liquid lipstick. Gorgeous. I mean, I'll give you a little swatch there so you can see like that. Like, boom. Major, major color payout there. Fantastic. I like to just kind of get the color on my lip with the tube, and then I take a, a lip brush to kind of perfect the line because it's not very accurate with that big uh, felt blob at the end. Now let's talk about having too much eyeshadow base. Of course, Too Faced eyeshadow base is called Shadow Insurance. Um, and they have it in different forms, although I have only two. I have this one, which is Dynamite. This is the Glitter Glue Shadow Insurance, and that's exactly what I use it for. I use it to keep glitter in place on my eyes. It's wonderful. So it has a lot stickier feel to it than the original. The original Shadow Insurance comes in original, which is just clear, and then it comes in a whole bunch of different colors. I only have it in the original, but I have it in an embarrassingly large amount. So I've got three full-size tubes that I haven't even gotten into yet. I have like, look, it's like the three little bears. It's three different size of mini tubes, like large, medium, and small of the mini tubes. And then I have it in this uh, form, which is kind of like the NARS one with the wand on it. Uh, so yeah, I've just got those waiting on deck because it takes forever to go through um an eyeshadow base so but i love this this brand so i'll just keep those on deck and use them when the time comes so lip product wise i have one of the Too faced lipstick in this really old style i don't even know if they uh if you would have even seen it this is in the color cougar you can see it's like a real uh kind of it's almost like kylie jenner color if you added a little bit of pink liner and I got that in a kit somewhere and it has a cute little pink and black motif then they switched their lipsticks over to what was my favorite packaging it's this kind of uh, pale pale metallic pink and then the top of them looks like a jewel like a diamond and these were supposed to have um, actual champagne essence in them I've got this in two this used to be their most famous lip color. It's called Celebrity Meltdown. And it's the perfect um, nude color because it's got enough pink in it that you don't look like a corpse, but it still does give you that nude look. On my hand, it looks super pink, but on your lips, really cool. I've used that quite a bit. The only other one I have in that style is in Centerfold. That's Centerfold right there. Again, another nice, really nude color. Um, it's funny because in their lipsticks it seems like I have mostly those nudie colors which is not big for me. I don't wear a lot of nudes but for some reason in their lipsticks that's what I gravitated to. Now I forget the name of these but these are the new lipsticks that are in these beautiful gold tubes. I have it in pink chocolate which is exactly what you would think it is. It's a pinky kind of a pinky brown a brownie pink. I have it in Spice Spice Baby. Another version of brownie pink nude and I see by looking at that one I haven't even used that one yet another one I haven't used this one is naked daily that's a real pale I'm going to swatch that see that is really really pale you can't even see it I'd have to wear that over a uh, a pink pencil to make it work I've used this one quite a bit this is called believe it's just kind of a neutral your lips but better color or at least for me and then I have a tiny little baby mini in Naked Daily. There it is right there. So cool. I love, I'm, of all the mini things, like I'm a sucker for those mini lipsticks. They're so cute. Then I have two lip glosses by uh, Too Faced. One is the old style, as you can see here with the, the jewel on the top. And again, these are supposed to be infused with champagne. These were called Too Faced. Glamour Gloss Volumizing Lip Gloss with Lip Injection Comfort Pump. And this was in the color Plush. And I have used this quite a bit. It's just a really nice gloss that enhances most lip colors. And this one came in a kit. I don't think you can like buy them separately like this. It's the color Mocha Freeze. 
and it too is just a really really nice smooth gloss uh, that's sort of your lips but better and I like it when I'm wearing that um, no makeup makeup face and you just put this on the lips and it doesn't look like on first blush like you're wearing makeup when in fact you, you, that didn't make up but it just gives you that nice natural look. I have two more lip products. These were both, again, I'm not sure if they sell them anymore. These were the Lip Injection Color Bombs. They came out with these during that time when everybody was making lip pencils. And I've got these in two colors. I have Candy Burst. Obviously, anytime they come out with anything with the name Candy, I buy it. And that's a really pretty pink. And this one is called Bee Sting, like B as in Bumblebee Sting. And it's much more of a nude. And they were not my favorite uh, chubby lip pencils. And now to the final batch of products, mascaras. As you know, I only have one or two mascaras open at a time. So I will not be showing you the wand on any of these but one because one of them happens to be a mascara that I have open. The rest of them are just waiting to be used. Um, the one that I have open is this called Too Faced Size Queen Mascara, which is a lovely little play on words for any of you who are old enough to remember queen size pantyhose. Um, but are you ready for this? Because I might be a queen size gal, but I have tiny eyes. So that the Johnny Holmes of mascara wands, that'd be a bit intimidating. Um, trying to get that into these little eyeballs of mine without getting mascara all over me. Like, look at the size. It's like propellers coming off that thing. I'm expecting it to like, whoop, take flight. But it's a very cool mascara. And if you had like big eyes, you could really back on that. Um, I would never buy it again just because my eyes are so small that it's... Uh, it's, it's too much. It's too much mascara for me. I have these put, put together for when I use them because they came as a set. It's the Too Faced Better Than False Lashes Nylon Lash Extension System. So you have the, you know, the white part you put on first and then you put this over. So I have them elasticized together so that when I pull them out, I pull them out together and try them. Then I have one deluxe sample of the Too Faced Lash Injection Mascara and I have used that before and liked it. And then I have two full size and two sample size of the Lash Gasm mascara. And this too is a mascara that I've used in light. But the final two things I'm going to show you from Too Faced are two deluxe sample size of what I think is the best mascara they have ever made and one of the best mascaras on the market and it's the Better Than Sex Mascara. And I laugh, um, sometimes I think there's a real, it's interesting, I'm gonna get off on a little tangent here. Um, if you watch a lot of like Netflix and you watch movies from the UK or te television series from the UK, women have so much better roles uh, in UK television, so in a way I think, oh, they're more progressive, but when I watch YouTube, YouTubers from the UK, I'm always surprised at how conservative those young women are. And like they're young girls in their like early 20s. And they all are like scandalized by the name of this mascara. Like, oh my, as if you're not having sex, get over it. It's a funny little play on words, better than sex, because you know, sex and chocolate are the things that we always say are like the best. For me, it's more like sex, pizza, and gin, but that's my own thing. Um, so I think it's an adorable little name for a mascara. I just find it funny how they get so scandalized by the fact that it's called Better Than Sex. But I do feel like I have kind of wimpy eyelashes and I can build up a pretty serious looking eyelash when I use this stuff. I've had it in full size and I've had these sample size before. Um, so I'll be digging back into those before you know it. So there it was. That is um, my collection of Too Faced makeup. I hope you're really enjoying this series. It's a way for you to see my collection in a little more detail than trying to show it all at once. I said I would alternate between drugstore and high end, but I'm going to deviate from that only because we are moving and I want to get one of the larger collections packed up. So the next collection I'm going to show you is my MAC collection. And I think that might be my largest number of items from one brand. So 
that's what you'll see next. Give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this series. Uh, talk to me about anything you want down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.